question four from the moment booklet. So we have the skull of this dinosaur, dinosaur, and it's giving us information about the forces acting uh, on the jaw. So um, the muscle force, this one here, right? Uh, we have to use the component which is perpendicular to the distance. So we need to use that force over there. Let me just show it again. I will call this F Y. So this is F, this is F Y. And then we have this angle between the, the jaw and the force. So what is happening in that case? If we consider the jaw to be our object where the force is applied, yeah, the moment the pivot is P. So on that pivot we have the F Y that is applied by the muscle. But then the one from the tooth, this is only going to be applied when the jaws close. So that force will be applied to that part of the dinosaur, right? But because of Newton's third law, there's going to be a reaction from part A acting on part B. So it's going to be actually a force like that of this value and not this one. So, so what do we have? We have two forces acting on the jaw. We have the Fy and we have the one from the tooth. Yeah. Now when, when the dinosaur closes these jaws, these two are, are balanced, the momentum of this caused by these two are balanced. So starting from the one that is from the tooth, we have the force from the tooth, sorry, the moment that is caused by the tooth is the force acting on the tooth times the distance from the pivot. Now, it tells you that you need to take measurements from the diagram, right? Now, remember that whenever we have, whenever we have uh, diagrams that we have to take measurements, um, the copying of the of the papers sometimes they give us different scales right so we might not get exactly the same value as the mark scheme but the procedure is the same so if you do this on a proper paper uh, you should get the exactly the same answer as given on the on the past paper on the mark scheme so back to this so the moment caused by the tooth is the force of the tooth times the distance now you have to take your ruler and measure the distance between the force and the pivot. So I found this to be eight centimeters. And therefore the moment caused by the tooth, that will be 6,500, 6, which is the force, times eight centimeters, I will convert it to meters, right? And it says that there's a scale one to 10. That means one centimeter on the diagram is 10 centimeters in reality, so we'll multiply this by 10. So if I do these calculations using my calculator, it will give me 5,200 5, Newton meters. All right, so therefore, this force which is kind of anti clockwise, this moment which is anti clockwise should be equal to the moment caused by the muscle, which is clockwise. So the moment from the muscle, it will be the Fy, the component of the muscle force, times the distance, if this is distance one, this is distance two, which is the distance between the force, the muscle force and the pivot. Now, as we have balance of, as the moments are balanced, that means the moment caused by the muscle will be equal to the moment caused by the tooth. So therefore, this will be the value for the moment caused by the muscle. And then we have Fy times the distance from the pivot, which when I measure it with the ruler, I see, find it as zero, uh, 2.5 centimeters. So that will be 0 0.025 times 10 because of the ratio. And therefore, Fy will be, um, give me a second to calculate. 
So F1 would be 20,800 newtons. However, the question is not asking us for, for the component, it's asking us about the actual muscle force. So I need to find F not Fy. So in order to do that, I know that the relation is Fy equals F the muscle force times sine theta, where theta is the angle between the muscle force and the, and the jaw. Again, you have to use your protractor to measure what is that angle over there and when I measure it I found out that it's 60 degrees so theta is 60 degrees therefore Fy equals F sine 60 Fy I have found it from before it's 20,800 so if I divide that by sine 60 It will give me the force, the muscle force, to be 24,017 newtons. Right on the mark scheme, it says 24,000, if I'm not mistaken. But as I told you, since we're taking measurements, there might be a bit of a of a difference because of the sizes of the diagrams.